Happy fall, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Crystal. Today's video is all about fall cleaning. So starting out, I have a list of things that I do and I tackle, but before I could even tackle the list, I had to put away our Halloween decor. So the first part of the video is really just watching me put all this stuff away, taking it down, getting everything put into totes, and then I will start cleaning and sharing some great tips with you guys. You said it was the last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake Okay, y'all, so this is my fall deep clean list. It's super similar to my spring cleaning list with a few additional things for the colder months. I'm going to make this four parts. So this part one video will be about the home interior, and that's just gonna really, I'll share how the tricks that I use to make all of the things on that list much easier to do. So as always, I always start from the top down when I clean, which means dusting first. Together again You are back once more Like everything's the same I tried to build my walls up But you're taking them down It's tearing me apart I can't pretend Now I have to get over you again Another great tip to remember when you're fall cleaning is just like in spring cleaning, reverse your fans. So instead of them turning counterclockwise, you're now going to want them to turn clockwise to blow that heat back down. Okay guys, so next I'm going to use my O Cedar Spin Mop and a cap full of downy and a bucket of hot water to wash the walls, all the trim, and the baseboards. This is a great trick to make this task a lot easier. You could also use just some Dawn dish soap or any other combination as long as you do test areas to make sure that it's not going to damage your paint or anything that you're going to be washing. I love to use this spin mop just because it makes it so much easier to reach those hard places and I'm short so it helps me tremendously when it comes to time and not having to get out the ladder. You could use this on the ceiling as well. Um, I did a few just kind of touch up spots on the ceiling but I mostly just use this on the walls, baseboards, and trim. 
So if you guys have caught any of my other Clean With Me videos, then you know I am a huge fan of Dawn dish soap. I use it for so many different cleaning projects around the house. And I really love it to clean our windows and mirrors. I use one teaspoon of Dawn to eight ounces of water and a squeegee to get streak-free windows. They settle down beneath my feet. I've got it right and I got it wrong. But I learned my lesson hanging on. Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go for a little while. So be here as the night starts falling. Let my fingers walk over your head. We got nothing to be scared of. I'd rather be with you than by myself. Not always in your head. The next thing that I needed to tackle was cleaning all of our intake vents and our furnace floor vents. So this furnace filter has not been changed since before summer, completely my fault. We have six pets, we have a family of seven, so you can only imagine all of the stuff that this poor furnace filter had to collect. And this is one of three, we have three in our house. So yeah, that's what happens after you neglect it for three months during the summer explains so much. So we went ahead and got that out and now I'm just going to vacuum up all of the loose dust and debris and then I'm going to use some Clorox spray and just a washcloth to get in there and clean the edges, wipe off the back of the furnace and that way I can make sure that it's nice and clean and sanitized before I put the new furnace filter in. So now that the intake vent is clean, I'm going to put a new filter in and I'm also going to try out these Yankee Candle air freshener, whole home air fresheners. You just attach them straight to the furnace filters and it's supposed to make your entire house smell good through your vents. So I'll let you know how that works out. pillowcases. These are just pillow covers. I ordered a set of four off of Amazon and I'm going to put these on to the pillows that I used for Halloween. And I love to buy covers, pillow covers to change out instead of changing entire pillows out because I can wash the pillows, put the new covers on them and they'll be good for a new season. But these are just the zip ones. So if I can find the zipper down here. So they're the no-show zip ones. So you can just change them out. I got four of those. And I think a four pack was only $11.99 because I bought them so late in the season. So just a quick tip. I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out on Amazon. But I thought they were really cute. And they have that pop of orange that I wanted with a little bit of teal and black and white. So I really like it. 
And then I got the Hello Pumpkin one for our long pillow on the couch. Again, it's just the no-show zipper. So you can see that zipper will be hidden. And that'll cover up, that'll actually cover up my Halloween pillow that we had for Halloween. So that'll work great. Then I went to Dollar General and I got two of these really cute um, Hello Fall um, signs. They have the little velvet pumpkins on them. They were only $4 a piece. There wasn't a whole lot of fall stuff left though because I did wait so late. But this is pretty, they're really pretty and I'm going to put them on our wreaths that I'm making for the front doors. So just so you can see what will be out there. And then I, I got a little bit of greenery. Um, they didn't have a whole lot. Again, a lot of Christmas stuff left. Um, not a lot left. <laughs> Mostly Christmas stuff, not a lot of fall left. And then the last thing that I bought at Dollar General was this new blanket because my husband hates my throw blankets. They're not very big, so I wanted to get him one that he could cover up with on the couch. And they had this one that it's like got the sweatery type material and then it's got the fuzzy fleecing on the inside and he really liked that. So he got a new blanket. But that's pretty much all I'm gonna change out in the living room. And then I'll show you guys what I put up over on the trunk. So over here on the trunk under the TV, I just put um, a new candle out, a Goose Creek candle, um, Dreaming of Autumn. That one smells like apples, tangerines, and cloves. Smells really good, but I just lit it. So, there we go. Um, I can already smell the apple and a little bit of the tangerine. So I'm really excited to see how it fills up the house before the kids get home. And then I had um, some marigolds that the kids picked out of the front flower bed. I just stuck that in a mason jar, which is a really easy way guys to decorate for any time of the year just pull out your mason jars i took our halloween pumpkin so this is the pumpkin that i got from dollar general that said happy halloween i just flipped it <laughs> i'm easy i just flipped it and put it with a sign which i also got a dollar general and then our little house with the led candle came from target and that pretty much is all that will be under the TV on the trunk. So you guys can see the old antique steam trunk. I've just got some, um, I've just got a YouTube ASMR video in the background on right now. And to help with the ambiance and get me in the fall mood. But that's it, that's all I did for the trunk. So I'm gonna switch out the pillows now and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like all put together in the den. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. That's the end of part one. and part two, we're gonna tackle the living rooms, bedrooms, and miscellaneous areas of the home. And I hope to see you back soon.